Hey everyone, this is Osomu awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I'd like to show you a quick tutorial how to order post by custom meta fields and hide past events in the listing grid widget and how to create the relations between post. And yeah, because I've been working on created, creating uh, event management uh, for the client without adding any plugin, just using a Jet Engine plugin. So uh, yeah, let's dive in. Okay, first one is how to order post, which is event, by custom meta fields. So I'd like to show the latest post goes on the pop, on the top. Okay, so not the other way around. So let me show you how to do that. So I created a um, post type, custom post type, which is called events. Okay. So I got uh, organizers and a starting date and the started um, end date and the start time and end time. Okay, so the meta fields. So I so this is starting date, okay? So this is the name ID, all right? Now, so you go to, um, oh, hang on. So this is a date. So the uh, field type, it's gonna be uh, date, pick date, right? And then, so we have to add a query. So now, so let's go to custom query builder, which is right here. And I have upcoming events. Now, so this is, so just query is post query, right? And then uh, which post type, it's gonna be events and the post status, it's uh, published, okay? And here, so go to general tab and then here's a meta value. So here, so you pick order by string meta value here, all right? And then meta key, so that is start date, okay? And then order, so from lowest to highest okay so that's it and then just uh, hit update now so let's go back to the listing page okay so this is the event listing page now as you see so it's not really order March 28th and then April 30th then if you see April 19th it's not proper order right now so you go to this custom query we just built it and then pick the upcoming event. So that's a custom query we just built. Now, so you can see 28th, 19th, and 20th, 30th, okay? And just hit update. So now we covered how to order post by custom meta field. Okay, so this is done. And the next one is hide the past events in the listing grid widget. Okay. All right, so let me show you. Um, let's go, let's go to uh, query builder again. Okay, so this is uh, under jet engine. So we got the query builder. And then, so this is just we worked on. Now let's go to meta query. So go to meta query and then fill the key name. So that's the same start date. Okay, and the compare greater or equal. Okay, and the value is today. And then type, make sure you put the timestamp. So I thought first, you know, date or time date. So date doesn't work. So you have to make sure uh, put the timestamp. Oh, and then actually uh, you go to uh, post type again. And event. And then this date. And here, make sure you, um, you toggle this on, okay? Yeah, so let's go back to uh, Query Builder. And this. All right, and then Meta Field. All right, so once again, start date greater or equal than today, and then hit timestamp and then hit update. Yeah, so let's go to event here. So I got the uh, sake tasting, hit edit. Okay, so March 28th, so now today is 22nd, right? So let's put the past day, so which is 21st. That's yesterday, 21st, okay, and I hit update. All right, so this is a listing page, and again, you know, custom query, you know, same query, right? And then uh, maybe just to hit the refresh, see ya. So now it's gone, right? Now, now, hide the past events in the listing grid widget. Okay, so this is done. Now, next one is how to create the relationship between posts. Why do I need to do that with uh, event management uh, system here? So because of the uh, event venue, 
So this is a garden farm and this is the address, right? So do we have to um, make relationship between event post and venue? Okay, so the reason was uh, so that uh, the user doesn't have to type in each time because most of the event has a kind of fixed venue. You know, they have like uh, three to five same locations. Now I show you so that the uh, organizer, you know, date and time, so they can, they have to manually type those information, but uh, uh, they can just connect the venue, right? So let's say I'm gonna disconnect that and then just uh, connect the venue. Uh, at this moment, they have like only four location. Okay, so you just pick one, boom. And then hit update. And then show the address as well. You know, not only just address, maybe if you wanna put the email address or phone number, any venue information. So let's go back to dashboard. Now I created another uh, custom poster called event value okay so you can add new event oh here just let's just go to edit what we have so here at the title so they can put the name and the here address so once again you can put uh, another meta field uh, phone number or email address contact person uh, for each uh, venue too so that's it and we have to make a connection those two and then so you can go to jet engine and then uh, so they have the relations right here okay and here i already created so the name is just the uh, event venue um, and then child object is events and then uh it's gonna be one to many this could be one to one but um mm. No, it couldn't be one to one because um, there's many events and then so there are many events happening in the one location, right? So that's why one to many the relations, okay? And the parent object is gonna be venue and then the child object is gonna be events, right? And the one to many, all right. And then here, I think that's it. So I don't have any, any meta field for that. i uh, just hit the update so once you do that so let's just uh, check out once again the event venue uh, if you see uh, in garden here so as you see there are uh, lots of different events happening in this location so that's why it's one to many right not the other way around and actually you may wonder how you can display uh, this name for the relation one uh, I'll show that to you. So let's just go to edit this page, listing page. Okay, so here is actually the, uh, the metadata is coming from the, the parent uh, CPT. All right, so as you see, so I'm using dynamic field, okay? And the source is gonna post, okay? And then here, so object field, it's going to be right here. So parents from event venue. Okay, so pick that and then it shows that. And then now address is, now address is, now this is, remember that I put the title over the kind of over the post. So that's why I'm using post, okay? And then this, uh, the address is actually, the, I create a meta field for that. So that's why you have to pick metadata and then pick address. As you see like here, event venue, pick address. Okay, and it just shows up here. And I just put the icons all right, so that was the third one, how to create the relations between post. Okay, and this is really practical, I think, example. And I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.